It's Father's Day and we're celebrating all the dads of the world and thinking about the best gift they can give their children. But there's no time for dad jokes. everyone and welcome to Kamsa Connect to your weekly worship service from Cambridge Salvation Army here in the UK and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Today we're in Matthew's Gospel looking at how Jesus sat down to spend time with all kinds of people and we're considering how the gift of time is one of the best gifts a dad can give. That's right well coming up in today's episode we have music from our songsters, a Bible thought from Lieutenant Colonel Alan Bateman, and a surprise video by the dads of the Kamsa family. Very exciting. Well, let's get our worship off to a start with a song all about our Heavenly Father. Please join us in singing, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Loving God, we give thanks for the men of virtue who have touched our lives, those who have shown us kindness, courage, generosity, truth, compassion, faith and love. Bless all sons and brothers and fathers and grandfathers who reveal a glimpse of your loving presence here on earth. We pray for young fathers that they will be able to find balance between work, 
family and faith, for fathers around the world whose own children are suffering, for men who are not fathers but still mentor and guide with fatherly love and advice, and fathers, grandfathers and great-grandfathers who are no longer with us but who live on in our hearts and memories. Lord, today we give you our praise. Amen. That is great and powerful and glorious and victorious and majestic is yours, O Eternal One. Indeed, everything that is in heaven and the earth belongs to you. The kingdom belongs to you and you are the head of it all. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Thank you for sharing in the prayer time and indeed hope that you were blessed by our songsters singing I will praise you Lord with all my heart. Hello everyone, well as it's Father's Day I couldn't let it go by without telling you a few dad jokes so here goes. What do you call a moose with no name? A nonny moose. Where do cows get their clothes? From cattle logs. I used to be afraid of hurdles, but I got over it. What's the best way to watch a fishing show? Live stream. I think that's probably enough, so I'll continue with my update. As mentioned previously, last week we celebrated our 138th Corps anniversary and our Divisional Commander Major Howard Russell was with us. If you look up our Facebook page after today, you will see some images of not only our meeting but our church on the street afterwards. Also last Sunday we commenced a new venture called Back to Basics, which is to be held every two weeks at 5.30pm and we shared in worship prayer, Bible study and discussion. It's open to all with an emphasis on young people but is definitely not limited to one age group. And we hope people will explore and engage with their faith and see how God moves. Yesterday, Saturday the 17th of June, a ladies fellowship summer fair was held between 10 and two. There were plenty of bargains to be had and it was quite busy the exact amount raised isn't yet known, but will be put towards our building fund, so we're very grateful for any donations made. As you will have noted recently, CAMSA Connect Live will be happening on Saturday the 2nd of September at 7.30pm. It will be an evening of worship, celebration, interviews with members of the CAMSA Connect production team, and we're inviting questions from viewers about CAMSA Connect. So, 
If you send your questions to the email address on screen right now, they will form part of a Q&A segment during that evening. Make a note of the date and the time and get those questions ready. Finally, we would invite you to our All Age Worship every Sunday at 10.30 in our hall in Tennyson Road, Cambridge. Everyone is welcome and refreshments are available during our time of shared fellowship after the meeting. Thank you for watching and listening. We shall now share in the singing of a well-known song, Lead Us Heavenly Father, Lead Us, after which Major Paul Cooper, the officer at Cottenham, who is a dad himself, will bring to us the Bible reading for today. Today's reading is Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 to 13, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Matthew got up and followed him. Later, Matthew invited Jesus and his disciples to his home as dinner guests, along with many tax collectors and other disreputable sinners. But when the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with such scum? When Jesus heard this, he said, Healthy people don't need a doctor, sick people do. Then he added, now go and learn the meaning of this scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call, not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. Amen. Well, thanks, Paul, for bringing today's reading and to Norman as well for the weekly update. Now, coming up next, we'll have the online offering. So thanks in advance for your support in that. Plus, Colonel Alan Bateman will bring a Father's Day thought on our passage from Matthew chapter 9. First, though, it's time for the video you've all been waiting for. The one that, according to Norman last week, the dads have literally been falling over themselves to film. Yes, a huge thanks to all the Kamza family dads who took part. We hope you enjoyed the experience and we hope all of you at home will enjoy our take on the hit song, Sit Down Next to Me. A song from the 
darkest hour Secrets I can't keep Inside of a day Swing from high to deep Extremes of sweet and sour I hope that God exists I hope, I pray Drawn by the undertow, my life is out of control. I believe this wave will bear my weight, so let it flow. Oh, sit down, sit down, oh, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down next to me. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down in sympathy. Far out places It's hard to carry on When you feel All alone And now it's all back down Again and it's worse Than it was before So I haven't seen Such riches I could live with Being poor Oh sit down Oh sit down Oh sit down, oh, sit down. Oh, sit down. Ridiculous, sit down next to me in love, in fear, in hate, in tears, in love, in fear, in hate, in tears, in love, in fear, in hate, in tears, in love, in fear, in hate, down. No doubt at some time or another we will have invited someone round to share a meal 
or else have met there met a restaurant or a neutral meeting place when we had something important or challenging to discuss. Spending time with those who mean much to us is so important. I can well remember spending time with my father as a young lag when he took me train spotting at King's Cross Station in London. That was an affordable treat when we had so little money. We would travel on the London Transport double-decker bus and he would talk to me about the importance of my faith and warn me about the possible bad influence of some of my friends at school. Also in those days, there were many travelling evangelists and my dad would take me to meetings and then we would talk about what was said on the way home. Looking back, I learned a lot about the Christian faith as a result. Likewise, as a father myself, I recall sitting alongside and talking to my son about relationships and other matters to do with Christian standards. I would go to his student accommodation and listen to music, which we both enjoyed, whilst discussing innumerable matters relating to everyday life. They were special moments and bonded what was already a strong and trusting relationship. That strong relationship remains special to this day. Matthew, in his own Gospel account of the life of Jesus, is giving his testimony here. He was a tax collector for the Roman government. He would not have been a popular man because tax collectors were permitted to line their own pockets with the additional amount they collected. Matthew would also be unpopular among the Jews because he worked for the pagan Roman government, which was strongly opposed to their religion. Nonetheless, Matthew accepted Jesus' invitation to follow him. He not only opened his heart and became a new person, but he also opened his home. He invited his friends to meet Jesus in the hope that they too would choose to follow him. So Jesus went to Matthew's house for a meal. There were other tax collectors there, and people simply referred to as sinners probably people who did not strictly observe the religious laws and customs that good people were expected to uphold. The main message here is that Jesus took time out to go to Matthew's house and spend valuable time with him and his associates, some of whom would have been seen as the outcasts of society. This is just what the Pharisees needed to legitimately accuse him of wrongdoing. They wanted to persuade people that he was a false teacher and therefore unrighteous. They challenged Jesus, but he simply quoted a popular saying of the time, it's not the well that need a doctor, but the sick. A significant proportion of Jesus' time was spent inviting sinners to the heavenly feast of good things, not because they were worthy, but because a gracious God wants them to be included. This compassion which was a hallmark of the ministry of Jesus, is also our example for us in our contemporary mission. On this Father's Day, the message is clear. The Lord took time out to mix and mingle with tax collectors and sinners. And this challenges us to invite some people who may feel outsiders with the words, come with me, let us sit down and talk about the meaning of life and the beautiful things that God is doing in his world today. Clearly, there are no boundaries as to who is acceptable in God's kingdom. Although the language is now dated, the songwriter expresses this message very well in the following words found in the Salvation Army Songbook, number 746. Come, tell me all that you have said and done, your victories and your failures, hopes and fears. Why? Because, as the songwriter goes on to say, the brief hours are not lost in which you learn more of your master and his rest in heaven. So, why not find a quiet spot, sit down, talk openly and frankly to Jesus, and then listen to what he has to say to you, or respond to the nudge that you feel him giving to you. God bless you. Loving Lord, we thank you for the gift of good dads and everything they do for us. Help them to have patience when we're difficult, wisdom when we can't see the way, strength when we need comforting, and love at all times, so that, through them, we get a little glimpse of how you feel about us. Amen. 
And God bless all the dads and those in the role of a dad everywhere. That's right. God bless you and enjoy this special day. Well, thanks for joining us this week, everyone. There are just a few episodes of Camza Connect left now. So do put Camza Connect live in your diary. We'd love to see you in person in September. We would indeed. Well, we'll be back next week when we're talking about journeys and traveling. And we'll have a new piece of music from our young people's band, a children's story and a favorite song from someone in the Kamza family. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please do give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing and feel free to leave us a comment below to tell us where you're from. And you can link with us on Facebook too. Just search for Kamza Church and you'll find us there. Well, to help us bring our worship to a close, we've got the young people of the Kamza family when they were all much younger to bring a Father's Day benediction. And after that, we'll join in the singing of a song. So until next time, everybody, keep safe, keep well. And keep connected. God, God bless you. you. We pray that every father has felt the blessing of God today. And now as you go into the world, May you love your children like God loves his children. May you find your identity in being a son of the only perfect father. May you make it impossible for your daughters to ever find a husband. Uh, Give us their dad. May you teach your children that their mother is the most beautiful woman alive. She's really pretty. May you risk more, worry less, and pray hard, and pray hard. May you lead your family, not as a king, but as a servant, who protects their hearts. Who protects their hearts. Who protects their hearts. You may laugh at little things. And finally, May you lay down your life for your family. And may you introduce them to a God who's already done that exact thing. We hope you have a great day today. Happy Father's Day. 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 Yeah.